Hey there. Good morning. Sorry, I'm a little late this morning. My computer was starting to freeze up, so I had to close out Facebook and a bunch of tabs and open it back up. So here we are. It is Sunday, the 15th of November, 2020. Many blessings and welcome, sisters, as you come on the line. I did not have the chance to give a title to this, and quite honestly, I've been in prayer this morning asking, you know, what's the topic and nothing's really coming through. So I'm feeling like once we get going, there's going to be some clarity around that. Hey, Rosemary, good morning. Welcome, sister. Glad to have you here. Uh, I wanted to say thank you to all of you who commented on uh, the previous um the, the live I did for Friday the 13th and talking about bat syndrome. Wow, I came on uh, Facebook this morning and I was amazed to see how many comments and shares. So thank you so much for that. It's always good to hear from others and get like that feedback. Like, is this landing? Is this making sense? And I mean, clearly this is a, a theme and an issue for many of us. And I feel like, I feel like right now what's coming in, what I can feel sort of on the periphery of my awareness are messages around bigger, the bigger picture, the bigger arc of what's ha happening on the planet right now. And maybe that's why I felt so uncertain about what to title this or call this. So I'm hoping as I go through this, I'll come up with an idea or it'll make, it, it'll make itself known. So welcome, Gina. Welcome, Amy. Welcome, Petra. Welcome, Evelina. Wait, welcome, Sasha. So good to, to um, see all your names here. And uh, it is, hey, Judith, good morning. It is really uh, an honor and a blessing to be able to gather with you, even in this weird virtual way uh, on Sundays. Hey, Janelle, good to see you here. Welcome. Yay. Yes, you made it. And uh, just as we're about to begin, so let, and I started a minute late because of technical issues. So let's do our grounding and centering, and then I'm going to tune in and see what, what wants to be brought forward today. We're in big epic times right now. We are, and I have a feeling the message uh, will, will be related in that way to these big epic times we're in. Hey, Sharon, welcome, welcome, sister. Good to have you here. Yes, sending you love to, sending love to each of you. Ah, so let's take a minute to ground and center, shall we? Go ahead and close your eyes if it's safe to do so. I'm going to keep mine open because the recording's a little funky today. And just begin by, let's begin today by pulsing at the perineum. So doing those little kegel squeezes at the base of the spine squeezing and pulsing to bring your attention there. And then when you're ready, take a nice deep breath in and bring that breath all the way down to the pelvic bowl, filling the pelvic bowl with life force energy, like a golden light filling you up with the air, the breath of life, the light. And then as you exhale, open up your root chakra and send down that tap root to Mother Earth on the exhale, letting the energy and that taproot reach down through the seat, through the floor beneath you, through the earth, the many layers, and allowing yourself to breathe at a pace that's right for you now. Continue to see that taproot spiraling gently downward through the many layers of Mama Gaia until you feel that root gently connect in at her heart. Beautiful. Now on the next breath, begin to draw energy up from the earth through your root, inhaling to draw that energy up, squeezing it, pulling it upward through the root, through all those layers again, all the way up until you feel that energy at the base of the spine and your lungs are filled with air and now on the exhale, send that energy up through the spinal column, all the way up through the chakras and out the crown of the head. Let that energy sprout like trees out the crown, like tree branches out the crown of your head. Beautiful. And now inhale and from those branches, draw the light down through the crown, third eye, throat, and into the heart, expanding into the heart space. 
and exhaling and sending that energy down through the solar plexus, the sacral, the root, and then down through that root, offering the light to Mother Earth, offering the light to Mother Earth. And now breathing in, drawing from the heavens and from the heart of Mother Gaia, inhaling to draw that energy up and into the heart space until you feel expanded, full, awake, alive, and held by the divine and by Mother Earth. And exhaling to send those energies on their way, anchoring you in a field of light, love, and love light. Beautiful. And now taking another breath in, drawing the breath into the heart space, pulling in present moment awareness and deep love for yourself. And exhale to release anything that does not serve you, such that you allow yourself to come fully home to your center and to your breath. Hmm. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thank you. Good morning, Inga. Good to have you here. Thank you and welcome. Okay, let me just connect in to see what, what wants to be brought forward because there's it feels, like I said, a lot. So I want it to come in clearly. We are with you and we offer you bright blessings. We come as the spirit of the earth, the spirit, what you would call the fairies or the natural beings that are invisible to you when you walk upon the earth, Mother Gaia. We come with a blessing. We offer you a blessing and we ask you to come and return to your connection, to the spirit of the earth, to the fairy realm, to the blessed ones who live in communion and gentle union with Mother Earth. This is an invitation for you to return to your natural way of being as the world changes. As the world changes, we know that there will be a time when those who are disconnected from the Earth have a very difficult time. We do not want you to have a difficult time. We want you to come back and play with us. Play with us in the oceans and the seas and the forests and the skies and the trees. Remember that you came in this physical body to be connected with Mother Earth, a natural being of the Earth. We understand that you are eternal, and yet as you walk on this Earth, we want you to remember your natural way of being. We want you to remember the love in your hearts and the playfulness that comes when your life is simple. We ask that you come and play with us and come to natural settings, to parks, and forests and ocean sides and call to us and ask us to show you magical things. We would love to reconnect with you, but you have to believe in us again first and be playful and loving and light in your heart. When you are heavy or fearful, when you are heavy or fearful, when you are heavy or fearful, we cannot come near you. It feels very harsh to us. We don't want to be near you. And so we hide from you. We hide from you when you are heavy and fearful. We hide from you when you don't understand what it means to be in nature anymore. Because we are nature. We are nature. And if you don't know how to be in nature, then we cannot be with you. You have to ask us and, and be still and quiet and playful and trusting and light in your heart. And then we can come and we can, we can share with you in a new way in a new way, in a way that's like the ancient ways, but new again. We can help you. We can help you grow your plants. We can help you garden. We can help you with flowers. We can help you feel the way Mother Earth loves you. Again, we can do this, but you have to ask us and you have to come and be with us and be more still and more connected to the Earth. All of those toys you play with, those telephones and internets. We know and understand that those are some tools for you, but 
when you come out into nature or you go to the go to the beach or the park and you stay on your phone then we we hide from you we hide from you but we don't want to hide from you we can help you we can help you but you have to come to us and we have to feel safe to show ourselves and it will come in feelings and ideas feelings and ideas maybe some of you can see us maybe but we will come and show you things when a leaf falls or a feather falls or a bird calls or a special thing you find on the ground or in the sea that's us saying hello will you come and be with us we are the fairy realm we are the spirit of the earth and we are here to help you because big changes are coming to your planet but you have to come to us otherwise we can't help we bring you a message of love support and safety and we hope to play with you again soon it's been a long time since the humans have played with us and we would like that again we thank you for receiving this message and hope to meet you. Hmm. Oh my goddess, that totally surprised me. I've never done something like that. That was so sweet. Hmm. Uh, I hope that that was in service to some of you. A message from the fairy realm, who would have thunk? I spend a lot of time in the forest and I connect deeply with the trees, but I have to say I have never connected with the fairies before. So that is new to me. And I feel it's also partly a message for me, of course, as well. It's not just for me and it's not just for all of you. So um, let me just tune in and see if there's something else here um, that needs to come through. So what I'm getting is that um, I can be very heavy and intense and serious and sharing important things. <laughs> the fairies wanted to come through to bring a light message um, and to lighten our hearts. The world is changing and the world is not going to go back to the way it was. It's going to be better after a period of tumult and change. And we would do well to reconnect with our Mother Earth, not just through guided meditations, but through actual communion with her, with the birds or the trees or the animals or the gardens or however that is for you, the, the beach, um, the forests. For me, it's the forests here um, in the American Southwest. Things are going to change and our ability to navigate this change uh, is based on our ability to connect with spirits, to stay out of the battlefield of fear and hate and attack. But it's also how we're going to, how our ability to navigate is going to be how well we are able to walk on Mother Earth and take care of ourselves through her bounty not just through the grocery stores or the online Amazon shopping. So um, this is a, an invitation to connect with the fairy realm, clearly, uh, and also to begin to start thinking about if the world changes and the, the resources and systems that I have relied upon for survival are no longer there, like education systems, medical systems, food transport systems, grocery store systems, uh, um, I don't know, what else, whatever things, trans, trans, uh, travel systems. What do I need to create for myself, for my family, for my community that will allow me to uh, be in service to this great change because I don't have to worry about survival. I don't have to worry about food or shelter or things like that. So it's worth really reflecting on these things at this time because things are changing. Things are going to continue to change. And um, 
without going into the dark agenda, there's a dark agenda that wants to control us. And it's not going to happen. It's not going to ultimately succeed, but it could for a little while. So what's the plan? What's your plan? How are you going to reclaim your sovereignty, trust your intuition, follow your guidance and establish uh, a, a way of life that is that is loving, that is kind, that is aligned with your soul's eternal nature and is also aligned with Mother Earth and the simplicity of living in a more natural way. So I feel like that's what the fairies are calling us to, is to come back home to our natural selves. I mean, we are eternal divine beings, it's true, and as humans, we are designed to commune with Gaia. These mind-body vehicles are created to align with the frequency of Gaia. And as Gaia ascends in her frequency, so too do we as physical vessels and spiritual vessels. And as the old systems crumble, many of those uh, are based on architectures that are not loving. They are not, not life aligned and they're not aligned with Gaia. So we can't keep relying on those systems. The fairies are still communing with Gaia. They know how to ride the wave of ascension because they're part of the of the they're part of Mother Earth. Well, we are part of Mother Earth too. We are divine beings. They're probably divine eternal beings too. I, I don't really know much about the fairies. But if we are not in alignment with Mother Earth, like for our physical bodies as well, like knowing how to grow food or walk in the forest and not be afraid or swim if we live near the ocean or sail a boat if we know how to if we live near the ocean if we don't have those skills who do we know who does have those skills what skills might we want to acquire how might we want to begin to regularly go and touch mother earth and ask those fairies to to show us what we need to know for these times ahead because we as the priestesses we came to midwife a new way of living on earth and we are going to be in need we already are in need people are already starting to lose their minds people who are caught up watching tv all the time are so caught in a narrative of hate and divisiveness or fear 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 and at some point they're going to start looking for answers many of them already are they're going to look for alternative healers, for wise women elders, for midwives, for guides, for support, for the comfort, for someone who knows how to create an herbal tincture that will do what the drugstore can no longer provide and never really did a good job anyway because of side effects of medicine, but that's a totally other conversation. Um, we're going to be needed. We're already needed. And so our taking care of ourselves, taking care of our mind-body vehicle, so that our spirit can deliver the good, so our soul can do what it came here to do, is really important. And communicate clearly, the, the fairies are saying, connect with Mother Earth, because that's a really important skill to have, to reclaim. Ah, so, I'm going to check out your messages now and see if there's any conversation or questions here. Um, Rosemary says, I heard them loud and clear. Thank you for being a conduit. That was so living, loving. Yes, it was a wonderful to be a conduit for them. They were so light and I really needed that today as well because I'm dealing with uh, some heavy news in my personal life. Nothing nothing life-changing. Everyone's fine. My family's healthy and all that. But something that's weighing heavy in my heart. So that was really beautiful to feel that. Uh, let's see here. So beautiful. Um, hey Usha. Hello. Welcome sister. Um, Judith says so sweet and beautiful. Yes. Amy says, beautiful invitation from such lovely energy, indeed. Um, Sharon says, it makes me so sad that we've ignored them. Yeah, well, we've been conditioned over so, so long to ignore them and to move into cities and urban environments and to disconnect from Earth. And, and you know, and that's part of the whole witch burning thing, too, right? The whole Friday the 13th, the bat syndrome, that, that video that I did the other day or that, that live I did. You know, that whole Holocaust against women was also a removal of our trust in nature because nature was seen as evil and unnatural. 
and all natural things, including sexuality, became um, anathema to being a good person, became devilish. So we're reclaiming it. We're reclaiming it. And the fairies obviously are saying, hey, hey, hello. <laughs> we're here still. Uh, Sharon says, not surprised they came through. Powerful new moon today. That's right. We are in the new moon today. Um, Allison says, I've not been hiking or going uh, to the beach enough lately. That message resonates deeply. Great. Evelina says, yes. And the energies feel so light and sparkly. Uh, Inga says, see upon everything with love and as ourselves. Say thank you, thank you for every step we take on the grass or in the woods. Indeed, indeed, Inga, thank you. And Pat says, I pulled the fairy blessing card and it was the blessing of honesty. Ah, beautiful honesty. Yeah. And I think that's part of it too, right? It's like I, we're coming back to our honest, true selves. Our honest human nature is designed to be with with nature, not living on the sixty sixth floor of a uh, of a of a tower in the middle of the city, totally disconnected from our sisters and brothers. And yeah, that's fun. I I mean, I've spent time in cities. You know, I'm glad I had the experience, but I know that was uh, an experience to have, not a destiny. Um. Uh, let's see what else. I really felt their presence. Judith says, "Oh, good." And uh, Pat says to see clearly what to see clearly and what is true. Ah, indeed. So an earthly magical fairy message for us today. And so may this coming week and these coming years really be um, open up opportunities for you to commune with the fairy realm, with Mother Earth, and the stillness and the peace that comes when we're able to still the mind enough to just be with the wind and the trees and the sun and the fairies. Hmm. Thank you so much, sisters, yet again, for holding space for me to come and hold space with you. I still look forward to the day when we can gather in person. Um, I am being uh, still gently nudged to bring together some uh, a retreat of some kind in Sedona in the springtime. So if that's of interest to you, please private message me and let me know that. Um, I, I think I need to wait a little bit longer before I make a financial commitment to that because, of course, renting a place is a big financial commitment. But it would be a small retreat. And um, my mother spirit priestesses would have first uh, dibs. But I think that we would definitely have a, a seat or two or three after that. Um, and I'm going to start activating that with some local gatherings here just to activate the energy. Um, but that will come. If that's to be, I will certainly be letting you know That's uh, if that's on the horizon. In the meantime, uh, up near the top of my queue now is to do the New Earth Vision book. So that will be coming by some winter solstice, if not sooner, as a gift to all of us. So thank you, everyone. Love and hugs. Thank you, Amy. Love and hugs to all and to all of you indeed. Mwah. Thank you so much, my dear sister friends, and uh, from all around the world, let us hold this planet in love and light, and remember those fairies who are here to guide us. Mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Many blessings for a, a sacred and beautiful week. <laughs>